Beast versus Elixir. Elixir having beaten um, Tom just a few minutes ago and actually taking out fifth seed, Cosmic B, who was uh, someone that was doing really good in the past few tournaments. Let's see how this goes. Two. So Carmina is actually like, Carmina is a player that is actually like a huge, ah, God, you're right, Devin, why don't you do the thing that you're talking about? Never mind. Um, yeah, this is Beast, not Carmina, sorry guys. So this is actually Beast, uh, Beast refuses to change the name on his Switch or create a separate profile, I guess because of the Nintendo uh, online thing. So if I say Kamina, I apologize for the slip up, I might forget. But uh, basically, Beast is someone who's actually been very active uh, as of late. Uh, he is a very explosive player, especially using his Charizard. And it'd be really interesting to see like what. Uh, interesting to see like how he does against Elixir, who's a person who hasn't really been playing that much in our tournaments. Uh, this is gonna be guaranteed up tilt. Uh, Snake's down throw does get more frames of vulnerability on the enemy, depending on what percent the enemy's at. So if you uh, if you grab an opponent above 120%, I believe, it could be different based on characters. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, you can get an F tilt, and if you got them above 160, that can be an up tilt. Oh, nice F tilt coming off from a beast. God dang. <laughs> nice, uh, nice F tilt coming out from a beast to finish off the stop. I don't know, you see, like Elixir, like he's uh, he's kind of guessing what uh, beast DI is. Gonna be just based on how he's hitting him, like what kind of uh, stray hits he's getting, and up till almost finishing it. If uh, if it wasn't for the uh, the mechanic where you actually wither, uh, where you actually stale moves, if you hit them on shield, that would have definitely been uh, be stock. But he has a second chance now to make it work, and he was a little bit too close to the ledge. He might have actually like gotten that if he had uh, waited a little bit longer. But that's gonna be the stock. Oh! He got pushed off by Snake! And Elixir was like, yeah, I know you're gonna Flare Blitz. I read you. And then I'm gonna air dodge downwards and die. Jesus Christ! That was a very unfortunate uh, SD from Elixir. But, you know, Beast, uh, he wasn't necessarily gonna make it back, and Beast took advantage of that fact. There. And all of a sudden, like after that SD, um, Beast finally has like the momentum he needs to kind of carry himself to the end of the match. Uh, if he lets the Elixir get in though and start getting these straight hits, it's gonna, it's gonna turn out really poorly for him. But a really good back air to punish that dash attack. I respect the spacing from uh, the spacing from from Beast is actually very solid. He's got to be super careful. And Ford Throw almost finishing it. Ford Throw recently uh, was buffed. I believe in either the in, I believe in the second to last like major patch that they did, they actually buffed um, Charizard's Ford Throw. So it's actually a valid kill move. So you want to be super careful when you're close to the ledge that you're not DIing correctly. Because if you're DIing for up throw, you will die. And just like that, Beast managed to take the first game. Very nicely done. Not to say that Beast wasn't um, always a contender to do so, but he was very well played on his part. He took advantage of the uh, that's what, that mistake that uh, that Elixir made in the middle that caused the SD. That was definitely the turning point of the match, and he kept on the pressure despite that. You don't necessarily need to win every single exchange uh, to win a match. You just have to like, you just have to play uh, carefully until your opportunity, until your spot shows up, and then at that point you can take it, and that will be the, and that will win your match. Ready? Oh, he's going the other dragon. Really now? Okay, interesting. All right, so you have a Ridley on deck. Very surprised to see Beast doing this, but uh, Ridley is a character that is actually 
kind of popular on Wi-Fi from what I've seen. Uh, not super popular offline. There aren't that many uh, offline Disney players uh, currently active in the tri-state area. Uh, Sketch being one of them. But past that, um, God, why am I blanking on this guy's name? The person from Westchester. Uh, regardless, Ridley is an interesting choice because I don't feel like uh, Trainer was doing that bad, but sometimes you just want to work on your secondary, I guess. And if the uh, Beast really enjoys playing those super heavy Dragon Boys, I respect it. Of course, this one is nowhere near as heavy as Charizard, so you gotta be a lot more careful about how he does smashes. It really is a lot more liable to just explode if he gets hit by upsets. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh, wow, that was a crazy amount of damage for that point. For, uh, that S smash doing a great amount of damage for, uh... Wow, he was so close to dying from that. You can kind of see that uh, Elixir was like, alright, I think he's going to just try to do side beat and get back onto the stage. Let me see what I can do. Kamino with an awesome back air to take the second stop. Huh? Ah, beast, beast, beast. I said it was going to happen. And this is why you want to try to make sure your names are accurate on Wi-Fi, please. Uh, but yeah, Beast taking a great uh, second stock. And it's been even so far. Snake is a far heavier character, but it really does have a lot of really powerful moves that can finish off stock fairly quickly. This elixir definitely wants to force the approach. Like, I don't want to try to approach you because I know it's going to end really poorly for me if I'm not careful. And right there, that might be a really bad situation. Interesting choice! Jeez, dude! I, I'm not sure what Beast is trying to do there. That, that was just an interesting interaction overall. Um, elixir... Snake when he over when he when he does up airs like that, it can be really difficult to punish him. Um, and if you overextend like that, normally you'd assume that it'd be very easy to, to hurt Snake and just take him out, but you can just fast fall immediately afterwards, like we saw in the first uh, up air, even when he was like up almost above Ridley. That ended up uh, he ended up losing his stocks. And I guess we're going into our last match. Uh, let's see what they're doing on the Smash GG. Alright, so it looks like, uh, yep, Beast Band, FD, and Kalos. Those are actually both pretty good choices. Uh, his characters, especially Trainer, especially benefit from platforms pretty well. Uh, so does Snake, obviously, but I guess he was really just worried that Elixir was going to try to take him to a super flat stage. And they're going to PS2! No DSR. So let's see uh, where, what Beast is going to do, what character is going to go. Alright, yep, he's going back to Trainer. This is going to be the last match of this set. After this should be uh, WebJP versus Zach. Six, seven, six, seven. They can be kind of a tough character for a uh, trainer to fight because the way that, especially if you're fighting as uh, mostly Charizard, uh, if Snake does not want to engage you, he has literally no reason to approach you. And in fact, he would prefer for you to approach him. Uh, remember, dashing in is a uh, move that limits your shield options. 
So Snake, if a snake is playing intelligently, he's not going to force the, uh, he's not going to try to force the kill situation unless he has you trapped or he knows that he's going to be able to get some kind of kill off of you. And that is definitely going to be the down throw to up tilts. If you're above 170, that's 100% chance. Oh my god, in the back air, a great sweet spot back air for Beast to take the second, the first stock away from Elixir. He's kind of just taking damage all over the place. This man has managed to reassert re re control. I'm not sure why back air, why back air, uh, why back throw back air works, guys. He just does. And if you, uh. Ooh! Okay, okay, I respect that. Good fan of footstool. That's kind of dangerous, but. A charge that's back air is such a huge move, and when it tippers. It's ridiculously strong. Elixir putting himself in an interesting position. Is this gonna be it? He's dead! He's so dead! He was DIing for up throw. Remember, guys, up throw does take a second or so to actually happen. You should never be DIing Charizard. Uh, you should never be dying for Charizard's up throw. Because Charizard up throw, you're, that's reactable. Forward throw is 100% not. If Charizard has you anywhere near the ledge, you want to see your forward throw. Unless, uh, unless he has your back towards the, uh, unless he's facing away from the uh, ledge, obviously. And again, like, with on even footing, Elixir barely down. But Beast is, uh, Beast is not gonna give up his lead that easily. And a sour spot, uh, up B from Venusaur, or Ivy Source. Oh, very good up air from Charizard. And that sweet spot uh, back here, barely whiffing the explosion via the grenade. This is kind of an insane match, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if Beast is going to let it rip at some point. Of course he wants to be super careful of doing that, like, if you, if you do that, you can be very risky. Especially against Snake, Snake actually has some pretty good punishes and an up smash! Elixir actually jumping into the up smash, the up smash having a uh, attack ability, I believe, on the wings. I don't know if uh, that's from that. But the uh, charges of up smash having an intangibility on the wings, meaning that uh, even if Snake had done up back air, it wouldn't have hit him. And I think that was actually the first up smash of the set. And then ended up clutching it out for a beast. Good job, beast. And he moves on to winner seconds. Alright, so that is the end of that sequence. We're gonna have uh, WebJP versus Zach come up now. Uh, after that, we're gonna have uh, Arge versus Apollo, the winner semis, and uh, Beast versus the winner of WebJP and Zach. And I'll be right back, guys, with some moments. 